Good morning, everyone. My name is Maddie Stream. I'm going to do your July the 28th spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I hope you're doing well this morning. The title of this meditation is Inviting Generosity. When we allow another person to step up and help us, we give them a chance to express their own love and generosity. That comes from the Living Clean book, Chapter 7, Being of Service. Railroading newcomers into service is an age-old tradition in N.A. We do it with love, remembering our own reluctance to volunteer and with gratitude for what early service opportunities gave us. We complied back then since the people suggesting that we make coffee, set out literature, or greet people at the door were clean, after all. We suggested that they knew a thing or two, or we trusted that they knew a thing or two, so we surrendered to doing as they suggested. Years later, we're the ones nominating newcomers for those same life-saving commitments. By then, we recognize that some of the benefits we derive from service come from practicing love and generosity. Service often gives us our first sustained exposure to good feelings that come with giving of ourselves. As we support other members, meetings, and service bodies, and rope others into doing the same, our generosity is evident in our contributions. Longtime members assure us that this is no accident. Generously serving each other in NA develops our capacity. We grow as human beings, and NA grows as a fellowship. We open doors for others to practice generosity. In turn, they reach out to bring others along. An interlinked series of relationships define the history of almost every NA community. We are the direct beneficiaries of our predecessors' vision and generosity. And yet, the names of those still with us might not come to mind when we need to recruit panelists for H&I, hosts for the convention's hospitality room, or facilitators for the newcomer orientation. We may assume that our most seasoned members are above such tasks or that they'd volunteer if they were interested. One member had this to say, I've grown old in NA, which beats the alternative but I'm not as plugged into what's happening in NA beyond my home group and spot seats. My phone doesn't ring like it used to, but I'll tell you this, being asked to help never gets old. I still have more to give. I will practice generosity by inviting another member, new, old, or in between, to help me or to serve in A. What a wonderful meditation. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Inviting generosity. When I think about the service I've done, I was always invited by someone. And generally I was invited by someone that had more clean time than me. and had been doing their service position for years. And they were just looking for someone to train, to show the ropes to, 
in a spirit of rotation or possibly being able to have someone help them carry the weight of that responsibility. I rarely said no. I rarely said no. Now today, I'm, I'm not a service hog by any means, but today I understand that it's important to make sure that you bring the proper energy, I want to call it, to that service position and that my schedule is very, very, very tight to think about chairing a meeting or um, being a treasurer for a group or something like that. I don't believe that I would be in a position to do something like that. But there's other things that I would be willing to do that are kind of like burst of service. Greeting at a convention is one, right? Um, helping an hour or two in the hospitality room or doing the marathon meeting. These are things that people that have been around for a while would love the opportunity to do. And just inviting them, inviting them to express their generosity through service. It's a beautiful thing. Don't be afraid to approach an old timer and at least give them the option. Me, myself, when I'm in, if someone asks me, I may say, let me think about it. If I really do uh, feel it might be something I want. But I try to make sure I look at my calendar. Because my calendar is going to determine everything. What I have going on. And I love it when someone can ask me a question and I can look right into my calendar and say, well, that won't work on that day. I have an appointment that day, but thank you for asking. So that they can continue on and I don't have to hold up the process with a maybe, right? So today I want for you to think about your service commitments. Think about what you're giving back to our community. And who is it in your circle that you would be able to invite to do service with you or to learn how to do it, to help you? Um, maybe you're carrying the weight of a service position all by yourself. There's nothing wrong in asking someone else to help you. You're not get, turning over the service position, but maybe you need them to show up when you show up and they can do some of the other things that you do so you can focus on the ones that require your definite attention. Give it a try. See how it goes. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today and I am going to have a beautiful day on purpose. Are you? That's a good question, right? I hope that you do. That no matter what comes down the pipe, that you remember that we are in recovery and we have choices today. Have a beautiful day on purpose. Make that choice. Talk to you soon.